Hey everybody, it's Ken here with another lantern video for you guys. Today we're going to have a little fun, a uh, little fun project here that I like to show you what I've been working on. Uh, I told you guys in several videos ago, uh, actually when I was using my Dietz Millennium cooker here that I did a few cooking videos on, I did mention uh, in the future I'm going to show you how to build your own and uh, yeah, it's been some time and yeah, I haven't forgotten about it but uh, through trial and error and a lot of time, a lot more than I thought it was going to take, I kind of came up with something uh, finally. So uh, yeah, I'd like to share it with you guys, a fun little project that you, that you could do and uh, yeah, so here it is, this, this funny looking thing here, you're going to notice that uh, this is a Dietz number no. eight air pilot, and uh, this is this is one that just so happens that my dad picked up for me at a flea market. I think he spent eight or ten dollars. It wasn't uh, a lot of money, so uh, that's part of the reason why I uh, decided to do this project with it. Uh, if you notice, it's kind of got a kind of a pretty bad kink in it, in the air tube here. Nothing. Nothing, you know, that's going to affect the function of it, but just uh, cosmetically. And it also had a crack on the on the crown anyway. So, uh, yeah, which I had to drill out anyway in order to, to, uh, to turn it into the cooker function. So, uh, yeah, so if you happen to come across one of these cheap and you want to decide to do it, it's uh, pretty easy and a cheap way of doing it. Although, it took me a while to go around and around to figure out how to get the performance uh this guy, I had it, I had it working, but uh, this guy kept uh, coming out on top. But with this thing that I finally came up with, I was actually able able to achieve a, about the same performance as this. And uh, it's cheap as anything, and if you, if you want to sacrifice a lantern or not, I mean it's still functional as a as a uh, you know as a regular lantern. But anyway, so what I did basically is uh, took off the crown, I, I decrowned it. And uh, here's here's what I'm going to show you. These are these are quarter twenty acorn nuts that you get in any big box store or hardware store. And so basically, to turn it into the cooker function, you just take off your acorn nuts and take your crown right off that I, that I had to pre-drill. Like I said, no no uh, big deal anyway because I had a big crack in there anyway, right where it was. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, let me show you what I so what I did on the inside. I don't know if we can get a four quarter twenty screws that I filed a flat on one side of the heads so that they would butt up against the uh, the supports here uh, flat, you know. And uh, oh, uh, first of all, well, the uh, the tabs I just folded over the the tabs. So I mean, you could turn this back. You know, this is all this is all reversible. This 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 process is all reversible, uh, with the exception of the the holes that I that I got drilled in here. But like I said, it was no no big deal anyway because you can kind of see there's a there's a big uh, I, which I took out a big dent and there was a big crack in the, in the lid anyway. So so yeah, four quarter twenty screws. I seated them up against the uh, supports here and uh, secured them with some. Uh, I want to say 22, 24 gauge copper wire or something like that. I don't know what the, the exact gauge is, but uh, yeah, one around the bottom, one around the top. I mean, they're they're solid. They're not going anywhere. And uh, drop four quarter twenty washers on the top, and uh, yeah. So then you put your put your acorn nuts back on the top, and now through a little bit of trial and error by you know, adjusting these, bending these back and forth, uh, in order to be able to get uh, the burner top, which uh, I'm going to give you the link to this in the description. A dollar forty-five at the big box store. Although you got to you got to drill it all out, though. I had to put a lot of holes in it. It's a uh, oh, I always get the thing. It's in the electrical aisle. It's a four-inch uh, box. Uh, extender thing I always forget what the name is but look in, look in the link below and I'll, I'll give you the information where to get it dollar like a dollar 45 cheap cheap as anything and uh, you know I got it uh, so that you could basically just kind of it basically kind of just sits on the top and the uh, the sides of the nuts actually kind of support the thing 
Then I went and I bought myself here one of these, uh, they used to sell these years ago. This is, I think it was sold as an egg poacher, a single egg poacher, a little aluminum pot. Bought it off of eBay for a few bucks. Uh, the, uh, supposed to be an insert in there, like to poach an egg, I think you'll see him, but that, that was missing, but I don't care. I just wanted the, I just wanted the little pot. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Makes a nice little stove top. What do you know? The only thing is, though, one little, uh, problem I was getting some heat loss now that I have such a big uh, a big gap from the top of that so uh, you know beer can <laughs> had a beer can that the label pulled off real easy so I was able to just cut a couple pieces one side there one side there works like a charm and there you have it and uh, there's there's your there's your uh, there's your lantern cooker it works just about as good as, as, as the Millennium. And uh, real simple, real easy to do. And in fact, you can use the, um, the uh, cookware that comes with the Millennium. There's, there's a little, uh, like a frying pan in a pot. It'll, it'll adapt to this quite fine too. It'll, it'll fit. Uh, the, only, the thing I did find through trial and error though, is you kind of want to stick with something that's either aluminum or copper. If you could find it, I have a couple stainless steel pieces that, uh, uh, stainless just takes forever to heat up, and and that goes that goes as well, uh, you know, with the uh, Millennium too. I mean, I tried oh many attempts side by side. I had my stopwatch, my timer, and uh, just with this, I got it to be to the performance about just as good as what you'll get with this. And uh, you know, for a few bucks, uh, you know, a little bit of hardware and a couple dollars there, and. Uh, yeah it works works really great guys so uh yeah i finally uh was able to finish this project i, I know it was i had a lot of different things i tried all kind of electrical boxes <laughs> my first attempt it was so i had such a a heavy like looking mushroom piece on there and uh, i tried and it took like a half hour to, to achieve the same temperature as this setup does in about 13 14 minutes but yep i mean uh there we have it. So, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. And I uh, picked up a few new subscribers. like to give a shout-out to you guys. And uh, to anybody who would like my channel, please like and subscribe. I got a lot of cool things coming down the pike. Sometimes it takes me a little while to, to get, you know, to fire up my butt to get things moving. But we finally got it. And uh, everybody take care. Have a great one. Bye-bye for now.